What's up, everyone? This is Dave with Kato Productions, and today I hope you're doing well because I've got something I'll present to you, which uh, I don't really like the term because I don't want to make fun, but I call it mock analog. It's like a fake analog kind of workflow, and this is really just workflow. Yeah, the sound is kind of sort of implied there, too, but just hear me out, okay, before you go crazy on me. So what I'm doing here is uh, I've got a control surface, right? The Icon QCOM Pro X plus the extender. I've got a Mackie C4, which is just basically some endless rotaries with some displays, right? Um, and uh, the workflow that I have is um, it's tactile, like you would uh, like you would expect from like a, a real um, analog surface or console right like if you had something that you would record into and totally mix on uh, and uh, I've always wanted to have that workflow I've always wanted to have one of those consoles it really doesn't make sense for me in the environment that I work in and the operation that I run here uh, it just doesn't make sense to have a hundred thousand dollar console um, and just re record one track at a time uh, it just doesn't make any sense right but this, this makes a lot of sense. You have all the benefits of uh, you know, the digital environment plus the tactile feel of a console all into one. So this is it. Uh, what I'm using is you need two things. Number one, you need Reaper, which is my favorite digital audio workstation. Uh, you need that because that will give you access to the second thing, which is the amazing Control Surface Integrator by Jeff. Uh, I will link to that below. Um, it's deep. It's not even finished yet, but this is just a glimpse of what you can do with that amazing, um, I don't know what it is, software, a plug-in, I'm not sure. But with that, I'm able to set up this workflow that I'm going to show you. So uh, what I have is I have my basic recording template. So uh, a customer will come in. They will bring uh, their beat to me. I have it labeled there on that track, Beat. And I'll put the beat there. Uh, easy. They'll come over here to, or, you know, I will set up the mic. They'll start performing into this track. And this track now has... Uh, if we come over here, it's got my input, it's got the mic, I can select the mic because I'm using the Slate Digital Virtual Microphone System, which is also amazing. I'm not here to review that, but it is pretty darn spectacular. Uh, and then I've got my uh, preamp drive after that, and then I've got an output. I've got my EQ, just basically a high, a mid, a low, which is all I should need for that, right? high, a mid, and a low, then I've got a compressor, and then I've got my output drive. And I've got that for any track, so typically uh, they'll perform a track, I will, uh, you know, they'll perform a track like this, I'll basically duplicate that, they'll perform another track, excuse me, I'll duplicate that, They'll perform again, and so on. And so the settings will kind of transfer down for all of these. And I'll be, you know, kind of trying to shape the sound as they're performing. All right? Pretty sweet deal. Okay, so after, you know, recording several of, the, of these, I will start arranging them. And I may have them uh, in several different folders. So for the folders, I will have a different set of processing, right? Another EQ, a different one, but the same, you know, the same thing, a high, a mid, and a low, right? To just shape, you know, quickly start shaping the sound. I'll have some saturation, a compressor kind of in the same place, the output drive in the same place, and then I threw another EQ in there that sometimes I'll use if I really, you know, if I just really need something extra, I have that EQ. And I have specific plugins for the specific things, right? And that's really the point of this whole scenario is I'm not using, I'm not mapping the entire plugin, you know, to go through each individual thing. This is really to go through and start shaping sounds really quickly. As I start having a bunch of these, right, uh, I can quickly just start going through 
start shaping the sound, right? Maybe the background vocals, I'll do that, pan things. And what you're seeing is I'm able to start uh, mix with two hands, you know, select a track, turn on the reverb, crank it up, blah, blah, blah. It just all works really quickly. So um, I, I like this workflow. Uh, you know, you really have to take the time to map everything out, but once you do, uh, it really works out. For me, it works out really well. Uh, the other thing I've got as I go further down the line, uh, so you'll see my template here. Uh, I've got a vocal track. Our vocal bus right the buses are here uh, and then I over to the mix bus where I've got a com certain compressor a certain EQ a certain saturator and then I even got a master track where I just have um, another uh, like a tape emulation and then a, a limiter at the end and yeah for these I do need to see I need to see them so I can quickly open them up they're off screen you can't see them but I do have the limiter here and uh, it just it lets me just start controlling this stuff really quickly if I need to um, I didn't bring any music in here because I, I'm not really trying to mix anything maybe I'll do that another time but it's really hard to set up uh, set up enough of a uh, the right views to really mix and see what I'm doing uh, but I will try it one of these days alright and uh, yeah you see that clipping there because uh, sometimes I mess up and I have to clap I'll clap to give myself a point uh, I'll s anyway for those of you who edit, edit videos you know what I'm saying uh, so I think that's all I really wanted to present here for this um, for this video. Uh, you know, if you have any questions on how how I set this up, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, it's not easy, uh, but if you put some forethought into it, it can be done. Uh, you definitely don't need these particular controllers. You can use anything with some endless uh, encoders. Uh, there's even uh, I believe this uh, software uh, control surface integrator, I believe it even works with uh, things like tablets. So you can set up workflows based on that and you can set up anything you want. So uh, I'm really happy with this. Not to knock anything analog, you know, in the real world, but let me just tell you and go on a short rant here uh, that you know I was expecting to actually showcase uh, a piece of equipment from a company uh, that I was really looking forward to getting this equipment there's nothing like it right now on the market uh, it's something that really would have added to my uh, signal chain here and that company just kept pushing it out and out and out and out and some of you might even know already who that company is some of you might have already been victim to that and you know in my defense they approached me it wasn't like I sought them out you know I had heard about them before and uh, I was really look really well actually I was kind of flattered they reached out to me said hey we'd like to offer you um, a really good deal on this equipment uh, you just have to wait a couple months that couple months turned into a couple more months which turned into a couple more months and then they told me it was going to be a couple more months and I said uh, screw that and that is kind of one of the problems with analog equipment is that uh, if it breaks right if and when it breaks um, it's going to be it's hard to get it repaired some of that stuff needs some maintenance right and uh, some of that stuff if it's really vintage uh, it's irreplaceable and uh, that's a problem and so uh, that happened and I kind of went 180 degrees I bought the slate digital virtual microphone system I'm already using some uh, other plugins but my point is I've kind of gone entirely in the box almost even sort of kind of with the actual input chain uh, which is kind of crazy uh, but uh, I like the sound now I'm only recording vocals so maybe that makes sense for me that might not that might not make sense for you um, but it is it has really I think it, I've stepped my game up, so uh, I'm liking the sound. Uh, you'll see some stuff 
that I will release um, in the real world, and uh, that you can judge judge for yourself. All right. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you that do that and that will do that. And uh, look forward to showing you some more stuff. All right. Peace.